if you want to save time on grinding your badges and overall, make sure you hit up Hero Grinders on Instagram or Twitter for the fastest and safest way to get your badges maxed out. Links will be in the description. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video, today we'll talk about Clutch Defender Badge. We'll cover what are the sequences that can activate the badge and what is the time window. And at the end, I'll give my rough recommendation for the upgrades, so now let's get into it. So to activate the badge, you must be inside a certain time or score window. So for parks, I check a lot of clips and it seems like it's the same with Clutch Shooter Badge. The score must be at least 15-7, doesn't matter what side you're on. So for timed modes like Pro Ammo Rec, don't take my word 100% with this one, but since park time window is the same, I assume it's going to be the same as Clutch Shooter as well. It's the last 2 minutes of the 4th quarter and the whole overtime periods. Now for the place that activates the badge, it can be from a steal, it can be just from a tip from a passing lane, from a block, or even just a close challenge like this one. There could be some other mini plays that badge might boost, but these are the solid ones. So basically, the game just boosts whatever stats that concerns those plays, whenever you're inside of that time window. Now for the actual boost, unfortunately, it's hard to get stats from that, but at least we know which part of the game it touches. But I don't think it's a mind-blowing boost, because it's really well scattered. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to follow and subscribe to my new personal channel. I'll just share my whole YouTube journey in there, like the thought process on this whole thing. So your sub will be much appreciated for the kickstart. <laughs> I'm not leaving toots, I'm not even taking that seriously at the moment, it's just an outlet. Now for the next part, this is just a rough recommendation, because at this point, I haven't tested much defensive badges yet, so I can't really weigh which is better to each other. But safe to say, this badge is a must-have, at least bronze or silver. I mean, it's really handy to have those little kick on most defensive attributes, on those clutch moments, right? Right now, I have it on silver. So that's all for the video, if you like it, please smash that like button, and don't forget to drop by the channel for some other videos, and as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.